been a year in which everyone has had to dig deep to achieve success. I've never been more proud of any organisation that I've served or any group of students or colleagues that I've had the privilege to work with. Our entire community has come together as one Cardiff Met. Staff and students have given their all in the most challenging of times and they tell me they're immensely proud to work for and not simply at Cardiff Met. All the measures that have been put in place were essentially to make sure that the staff experience is prioritised, the student experience is prioritised and everything else falls into place other than the other way around where we're focusing on our retention targets, we meet our NSS targets. Right from the very start, our university said that nobody, absolutely nobody, irrelevant of who they were, what contract they were on, would suffer because of it. We said we'd pay 100% of all wages, we said that we'd pay all of our suppliers very very grateful for Cardiff Met for supporting me through this period financially but also um, giving me opportunities during the process to meet more people, have more training, have the flexibility to work from home. So many many ways supported me through the pandemic. Lots of people are struggling with childcare, children being off school, very young children being at home as well, and I was one of those people. And so to have the university be really obvious and forthcoming in us being able to work when we could and do what we could when we could was really positive. And I could concentrate on raising my child in a pandemic, essentially. <laughs> the university was always with us in terms of any help. The university took care of everything, literally, uh, mental health, well-being, everything. It wasn't that bad, bad experience than we actually thought in the beginning, so our university uh, took all the responsibility. There's a human element to it that I think is lots of people don't realise that there is in higher education. That's definitely come through over the last year. I couldn't think of a better employer. Uh, they've invested in me, they value us and we feel part of of the growth, Cardiff Met belongs to the staff, really, and we couldn't be prouder. One Cardiff Met is what really summarises my experiences. Um, we were all in this together, we all supported each other. I'd say that we as a staff feel respected um, and trusted, and I think for your own well-being at work and being able to switch off and feel like you've done a good job at the end of the day, that's really important. I think it made people realise clearly that Cardiff Met cared, that Cardiff Met was looking after them. The Cardiff Met said, do what you can do during this time. Your health and well-being came first, and that's vital. I think I entered the building the first time I felt like a bird in the cage with the broken wings, broken heart and, and a terrible mess in my head because of everything that was happening. I left the university as a bird that can fly. You think it's a very simple thing to dream what is there. But until that ability to dream is taken from you, you don't, you can't understand the meaning of that. That when you wake up and you don't think that I just want this weekend or next weekend or next year in future, I want this, even if it doesn't happen, but you still dream. But when I came to Cardiff Med, I couldn't dream. And when I left Cardiff Med, I can't say I left it, to be honest. When I stopped visiting Cardiff Met every week, I, I think I start, I, I got that my ability to dream again.
Good afternoon and welcome to the Cardiff Metropolitan University graduation ceremony. We, the university, promised in June 2020 that when we could, we would come together at a traditional graduation ceremony to mark the amazing achievements of the class of 2021. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to welcome you to Cardiff Metropolitan University graduation ceremonies for the class of 2021. You have made it. Before we do, just a couple of housekeeping points. Let's show our appreciation for all of our students by applauding and cheering as the graduates process across the stage. Can you please make sure your mobile phones are set to silent for the duration of the ceremony? We do not expect any fire alarms today, but should the unexpected happen, the staff of the Wales Millennium Centre will escort you to assembly points. We would ask that you remain in your seats until the conclusion of the ceremony and the, and the stage party has processed out of the auditorium. Please can I ask you all to stand for the academic procession. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I declare this congregation open. Please be seated. I call upon the President and Vice-Chancellor, Professor Cara Aitchison, to make the opening address. Kunhanda, a Kreiso Kunas in Ceremony Radio, Lord Mayor, distinguished guests, colleagues, graduands, student union officers, families and friends, it's our great pleasure to receive students from across Wales and the wider world here this week for our graduation ceremonies for the class of 2021. And we're delighted that after an absence of nearly three years, we've been able to return to this amazing building that's come to symbolize our nation's culture and now our hopes for the future. And this is a ceremonial occasion that's evolved over the university's 157 year history. But it's also a celebratory occasion and I encourage you, our graduands, to show your appreciation for your fellow students as they cross the stage by applauding the last as loudly as the first. And you, our graduates from 2021, have had to wait very patiently for this day. When you embarked on your student journey as long ago as 2017 or 2018, no one could have imagined that by the time we reached this point, we'd be coming to the end of a very long and testing global path. And you've had the most challenging of roads to travel. You should be extremely proud of your efforts, your determination, and your resilience. The routes we take through life are rarely linear. There are detours, obstacles, deviations along the way. And your journey to this point has undoubtedly been longer, more challenging, more arduous than most. But wherever you're from, you're here now because you've been successful. And that success has, in large part, been down to your own efforts. But it's also, I'm sure, been supported by the help and support of others, my colleagues on the platform today, your friends and family up in the congregation, and perhaps even watching online. So before we progress further, can I encourage us all to take a moment just for us to show our appreciation of you, the amazing class of 2021, and for you to show your appreciation of all those who have helped you along the way on this most difficult of journeys. Well done, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And while the coronavirus pandemic has undoubtedly brought the very worst of times that many of us have seen in our lifetime. It's also shown the very best of Cardiff Met students and staff. And students here today from the BSc Healthcare Science and BSc Environmental Health programmes worked in pandemic related roles, including as support workers alongside registered biomedical scientists in accredited NHS laboratories undertaking PCR tests. You staff test, trace and protect services and you worked alongside local authority and police services providing advice and guidance for business and carrying out enforcement of COVID legislation. Our teacher education students who graduated on Monday supported parents with homeschooling and developed hampers for hospitals, working with primary schools and local businesses 
to deliver thank you hampers to frontline workers in hospitals. And our scientists and product designers across the university created and donated PPE and sophisticated testing equipment. And we were one of the first institutions in the UK to donate state-of-the-art equipment for PCR testing to the government at the start of the pandemic. Indeed, the army came and picked up two incredibly expensive pieces of kit. And until we received a personal letter of thanks from the prime minister, I wasn't sure we were ever going to see these again. Our biomedical sciences staff remained at work to pioneer research into antibody testing and developed an asymptomatic lateral flow test research project, screening over 750 staff and demonstrating how immediate lateral flow testing compared favorably to results from public health laboratories. This was groundbreaking research being conducted at the outset of a fast-moving pandemic. MSC sport broadcast students worked with staff and students in teacher education to stream yoga sessions into primary schools to support health and well-being in our local schools. And on our campuses that never fully closed during any of the lockdowns, estate staff helped host both Wales National Blood Donor Centre and a COVID testing centre, thus reducing footfall to hospitals and keeping them safe. And our commercial services staff managed accommodation and catering on campus for frontline workers, international and care leaver students for whom Cardiff Met remained home throughout all the various lockdowns. And you, our students and staff from the School of Sport and Health Sciences, you've demonstrated enormous resilience in your response to the demands of the unprecedented changes brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. And life went on even during those difficult times. In August 2020, academics led by Dr. Rhiannon Phillips received circumry funding for the UK COVID-19 Public Experiences Longitudinal Mixed Method Study of Health and Wellbeing During the Pandemic. Over 11,000 people joined the study with the research increasing our understanding of the importance of access to green space during lockdown, what encourages or discourages people from being vaccinated, ways of improving patient safety, in the NHS and, sadly, how to support people experiencing bereavement. The university developed further support for Step Into Sport, a partnership between Sport Cardiff, South Wales Police, Sport Wales and local sport clubs designed to support young people to work with the youth justice system on purposeful activities that are likely to lead to employment rather than crime. And in partnership with Disability Sport Wales, Cardiff Met was selected as Wales High Performance Centre in the sport of wheelchair basketball and one of only four in the inaugural UK Women's Premiership League. Fifteen current and former sport performance analysis students have played a key role in FIFA's new player analytics system. FIFA football language. This is being used throughout the Arab Cup in 2021, or was used, and it's described as the most detailed system ever designed for analyzing football matches. FIFA is trialing the software ahead of the World Cup in Qatar. Still in sport, Luke Hawker, senior lecturer in sport coaching, received his 100th senior Welsh hockey cap in the warm-up against Malaysia. He then went on to co-captain the Welsh squad to qualify for the first time for the Hockey World Cup. Sport performance analysis lecturer Alf Dini, BSc sport conditioning, rehab and massage student Rhys Payne 
and BSc Sport and Exercise Science student Jack Pritchard were also part of the winning squad that will be heading to India in 2023. And our rugby program has led to eight students gaining professional contracts in 2020-21, right in the middle of the pandemic. Tom Pearson was signed by London Irish and was in this year's Six Nations squad and Ellis Bevan was signed by Cardiff Rugby. Previous graduates who crossed the stage just before the pandemic, Alex Dombrandt and, Ruth no and Luke Northmore, are now in the England squad, and this resulted in Eddie Jones recently commenting that Cardiff Met is a breeding ground for rugby players. Wales netball team moved to eighth in the world ranking and qualified for the 2022 Commonwealth Games. And the squad, captained by senior lecturer in your school, Susie Drain, is joined by many Cardiff Met graduates in the team. And so, while all of this has been going on, and you've been away and busy pursuing the early stages of your career, my colleagues and students across the university have been busy too. They've also been very successful. Our university has grown, it's diversified and it's improved as evidenced by very significant rises in all major league tables and the award in 2021 of the Sunday Times and Times Welsh University of the Year. And then in November, at the end of last year, the prestigious award of the UK and Ireland Times Higher Education, University of the Year 2021. Our School of Technologies, launched in 2018, now has over a thousand students in new accommodation on the Llandaff campus. And our Global Academies, launched in 2020, are delivering interdisciplinary and cutting edge research and innovation in health and human performance, human centered design, and food science, safety, and security, seeking to tackle some of the most entrenched global challenges in areas in which many of you have specialized. Our new master plan for our estate will see investment of over 80 million to remodel the Kincoid campus, make further investment in Llandaff campus, and seek to be the first university in Wales to become net zero at the earliest opportunity. Our civic mission here in Cardiff has seen over 6,000 children a year benefit from the opportunity of experiencing sport, physical activity, and well-being activities delivered on campus by our students, including some of you. Our international work now delivers Cardiff Met degrees to over 10,000 students every year in 17 partner institutions in 15 countries around the world. As a designated University of Sanctuary, hosting academics and students who've been displaced by war and conflict, we'll continue to support those from Afghanistan, Ukraine, and other countries. And we've just had the privilege of welcoming our first Council for At-Risk Academics fellow, a woman who, until August last year, was an economics lecturer in Afghanistan to our university to undertake a professional doctorate. And last month, in response to events in Ukraine, we pledged £400,000 to support displaced academics and students and to provide those still in Ukraine, including many staff and students in our partner institution, Lviv National Academy of Arts. And we will be honored to host their annual degree exhibition online this summer because obviously they're unable to do so themselves. This week, you join 5,000 other students graduating from the class of 2021. And this group of students comes from over 100 countries. And I'd like to read that whole list of countries, but let me just say it starts with Afghanistan. 
It ends with Zimbabwe. It includes Ukraine and Russia. And together, all of our students and graduates seek to make a positive difference to peace, prosperity, and social justice in Wales, the UK, and the wider world. And education, research, innovation, these are our soft power around the globe. These are our response to the global events, whether it be the pandemic or now a war in Europe. Education is our catalyst for economic prosperity, social mobility, and cultural cohesion here in Wales and around the world. And you've already embarked on your graduate journeys and I ask that you continue to act as our catalyst for change, that you celebrate our university's values of creativity, diversity, freedom, and innovation, and our behaviors of leadership, trust, courage, and accountability. And your university also has a motto and that motto is, the most valuable possession is knowledge. You now have that valuable possession. And as you make your way in the world as change makers and peace builders in our communities and around the globe, your journeys will no doubt continue to encounter challenges and deviations along the way. But I would encourage you to remember that you are one of the class of 2021, the class that overcame some of the biggest challenges we've known in our lifetimes, in the most difficult of circumstances. You have the knowledge, the skills, the experience to achieve your ambitions and your dreams. And you also have the capacity now to support others who follow in your footsteps. And I mentioned that we've established a fund to support those displaced by war in Ukraine and to seek to support our twin university in Lviv. If you're able as alumni of Cardiff Met to help us double that fund, then you'll be helping to throw down the ladder for all those who come after you and have perhaps been less fortunate than you. Cardiff Met will always be here to support you. And we hope that you'll retain links with your university so that we can work with you to build on and strengthen our already positive partnership. My colleagues and I are extremely proud of every single one of you. And we really want you to feel very proud of yourself and all that you've achieved on this most challenging of journeys. I hope you enjoy this great day of ceremony and celebration. Diolchen Varion, thank you.
I call upon Dr. Katie Thurloway, Dean of the Cardiff School of, ha of Sport and Health Sciences. Lord Mayor, President and Vice-Chancellor, I present to you the students who have been awarded within the Cardiff School of Sport and Health Sciences. And I call upon Programme Director Sally Hicks to announce the students who have been awarded the Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Science. Ariane Ahmed. Fahani Ali Muthana Ali. <laughs> Noor Mohammed Mohammed Al Kohli. <laughs> Edward Olsop. Bashir Arif T. Almatari. <laughs> Christian David Arenas Daza. <laughs> Mohammed Nurul Hussein. Shoab Awan. <laughs> Michael Ball. <laughs> Victoria Binding. Mariana Binti Rizal. Uh, our next graduate is a student prize winner, uh, the recipient of the Oxford University Press Prize for Achievement in Biosciences, Kieran Richard Austin Bryant. Rihanna Curran. <laughs> Henry Casely Dankwa. <laughs> Pearl D'Souza. Jack Gibbs. <laughs> Luke Griffiths. <laughs> Karen Guru. Amana Hack. <laughs> Jemima Hughes. <laughs> Morgan Luke Jenkins. <laughs> Daniel Keating. Ahab Mohammed. <laughs> Chokwabana Onwara. <laughs> Victor.
Victoria Ashley Pfeiffer. Iksa Sarin Mohammed. Laura Satchelly. Cara Kimberly Scott. Domini Petumpe. Nishma Shah. Aaron Sheehan. Ashley Stokes Lewis. Danielle Lucy Sykes. Alexandros Theodosiu. Luke Tebby. Mohammed Ahsan Touke. Faiba <laughs> Umar. Uh, our next graduate is the recipient of two prizes the Royal Society of Biology Top Project Award and the Royal Society of Biology Top Overall Student Award. <laughs> Eleanor Welsh. Francesca Westwood. <laughs> Halia Sara Dalali. <laughs> Suapon Wilkins. I call upon Programme Director Cathy Withercombe, who will announce the students who have been awarded Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Sciences with Health, Exercise and Nutrition. Jack Andrew Clark. Jumo Duran. Kate Green. Reese John Hurley. Ethan Scarlett. <laughs> Alice Kellett. <laughs> Michaela Toomey. <laughs> Abby Williams.
I call upon the programme director, Melinda Alawalia, who will announce the students who've been awarded Master of Science in Biomedical Science Immunohematology. Dufela Rashid Saeed Al Balushi. Melissa Kamen. Monjurul Islam. Tamida Khanum. Roxana Alparo Sadiqi. Sunita Pariyar. Alino Tamar Latham. Master of Science in Biomedical Science, Medical Biochemistry, Jody Joanne Church. <laughs> Millie Edwards. Master of Science in Biomedical Science, Medical Genetics and Genomics, Jyotika Halai. <laughs> Hannah Victoria Leach. <laughs> Omima Mustafa. Amy Reed. <laughs> Master of Science in Biomedical Science, Medical Microbiology, Ruby Hassent. Master of Research by Medical Science, Rebecca Lauren Plant. <laughs> Bushra Zia. I call upon Programme Director Victoria Bradley, who will announce the students who are being awarded Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Science, Blood Sciences. Shabazz Ali. Atwood. <laughs> Ewan Rees. <laughs> Courtney Tremaine. Catherine Williams. <laughs> Lucy Woodcock. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Healthcare Science, Cellular Sciences, Michelle Ballard.
Jane Connolly. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Healthcare Science, Infection Sciences, Beth Ann Cairns. Eleanor Cooper. <laughs> Ellen Watts. <laughs> Natalia Wiley. I call upon programme team member Judith Watley, who will announce the students who have been awarded a national diploma in complementary healthcare with practitioner status at Cardiff and the Vale College. Kelly Arthurs. <clears throat> Nadia Bush. Bethan Cairns. <laughs> Gabrielle Hereford. <laughs> David William Latham. Tessa Liebert. <laughs> Catherine Maddox. <laughs> Bethan Owen. Joanne Strevens. <laughs> and for the Bachelor of Science with Honours in Complementary Healthcare with Practitioner Status, Francesco Albano. Zoe Bailey. <laughs> Katie Marianne Domini. <laughs> Alison MacArthur. Christy Potto. <laughs> Faye Marie Brothero. I call upon Programme Director James Nielsen, who will announce the students who have been awarded a Foundation Degree in Science in Dental Technology. Jenny Potts. <laughs> Miriam Taylor. That concludes the foundation degree. We move on to the Bachelor of Science in Dental Technology.
Afra Bakri Omar. <laughs> Cyprian Stansu. <laughs> Patrick Dolega. Diviani Sabatin. <laughs> Esther Ivanova. <laughs> Tamina Camrus. Amina Khan. <laughs> Matilda Charlie Matthews. <laughs> Asma Salah Omar. Paulina Olauska. <laughs> Penny May Whittington. <laughs> Claudia Joachim. That concludes the Bachelor of Science. We now move to the Master of Science in Dental Technology. Manpal Singh Chana. I call upon Programme Director Gail Davis, who will announce the students who have been awarded a um, Bachelor of Science with Honours in Environmental Health. Emma Jane Barrett. <laughs> Sophie Louise Bowden. Kelly Lissa Canonis. <laughs> Sarah Capel. <laughs> Sean Constable. Richard Vowler. <laughs> Harriet Victoria Fowler. <laughs> Bethan Curtis Rich. Rachel Harve Davis. <laughs> Jerome Evans. <laughs> Molly Farr. Savion Ghetto Greet. <laughs> Kelly Griffith. <laughs> Alison Grove. <laughs> Brian.
Brian Kelly. Didi Makta Fe Keta. Batu Tsala. I call upon Programme Director Alistair Tomlinson, who will announce the students who've been award, um, awarded Master of Science in Applied Public Health. Adiola, Adiola Vivian Adeline. <laughs> Omawumi Helen Aibor. <laughs> Ulfat Nasor Ahmed Al Mazrui. Ajith Kumar Matunga. <laughs> Venkata Saifani Vignan Aruju. Sharon Vincent. Lekka Sri Butler. <laughs> Lorette and Siona. <laughs> Mega Singh. Michael Aguayo. <laughs> Ephemina Joanne James. I call upon Programme Director Viti Alanda, who will be announcing the students who've been awarded Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Technology. To receive the prize of the Ray Newbury Memorial Prize for the Best Practical Food Student, Leah Alexander. Laura Jane Beadle. Christopher Jake Burnett. Nita Daniel. And to receive the prize, the Louise Fielding Memorial Award for the top food science and technology student, Caddy Mars Jones. <laughs> Naomi Melville. Jivavec Kamlish Mystery. <laughs> Natalie Olivia Munro. <laughs> Alice Pointing. Tarina 
C. Michael Timney. Clara White. And to receive the award of Master of Science in Food Technology for Industry, Alan Christopher Owen. <laughs> Teresa Copland. <laughs> Paul Singh. I call upon Programme Director Anita Satari Hahijad to announce the students who've been awarded Master of Science in Food Science and Technology with Food Science and Biochemistry. Abiola Wula. Olamid Omarin. <laughs> Master of Food Science in Food Science and Technology with Food Innovation and Development, Ria Chichlani. <laughs> Kehinde Adibime uh, Ola Roshani. Nasir Patel. <laughs> Master of Food Science in Food Science and Technology with Food Safety Management, Amichi Lynette Amayo. Prosper Nayabanga. <laughs> Uriri Umafa uh, Omavi. <laughs> Master of Food Science in Food Science and Technology with Food Safety Management Industry. Bagashri uh, Basket. <laughs> Jessica Pinto. <laughs> Akanksha Weaver. For an MSc in Food Science and Technology in Food Innovation and Development, Isha Putan Latili. <laughs> Joyce Jose.
For all of us in the School of Sport and Health Sciences throughout this extraordinary pandemic, you, our students, have inspired us and given us purpose. And Shane exemplifies the way so many of you have stepped up and played your part during the pandemic. Shane has shown an unwavering commitment to biomedical science since he started the healthcare science program in September 2018. During the first lockdown, we had to cancel all clinical placements due to concerns about student safely, safety. Nevertheless, Shane used this time to answer the National Health Service's call for help and worked tirelessly through the summer of 2020 in Public Health Wales's COVID testing laboratory. When he was able to return to his placement in North Wales, he used his experiences to advance his training while still supporting the COVID testing whenever possible. Shane has shown great empathy and support for his fellow students throughout his time at Cardiff Met and the healthcare science academic team are very confident he's a successful future ahead of him and look forward to hearing about his career development. The recipient of the Dean's Award in Sport and Health Sciences for 2021 is Shane Connolly. I call upon Programme Director Ruth Fairchild, who will announce the students who have been awarded Bachelor of Science in Public Health Nutrition. Bethan Davis. Joanna Ruth Hopkins. <laughs> Chloe Jones. <laughs> Yu Lam Lo. <laughs> Chloe Oates. Katie Russell. I call upon programme team member Catherine Gallimore, who will announce the students who've been awarded Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition and Dietetics. Chantal Noble. <laughs> Hannah Blake. <laughs> Orla Bolster. Joseph Cox. Imogen Enderby. Shannon Marie James. Catherine Kearney. <laughs> Yerusha McGee. <laughs> J. 
Jennifer Salford. Thomas Coos. <laughs> Chiara O'Byrne. <laughs> Megan Shearn. Rebecca Watts. To receive the award Master of Science in Dietetics, Shauna Kilty. Receive the award Master of Science in Advanced Practice Dietetics, Seanad Catherine Quirk. I call upon Programme Director Sarah Curran, who will announce the students who've been awarded Bachelor of Science in Podiatry. Disha Bavazar. <laughs> Ryan Brain. Catherine Davis. <laughs> Manette Eve Edwards. <laughs> Zoe Ewan. Jake Flower. Bradley Reeves. Bradley Hopcroft. To receive the award for Firefly, Firefly Best Clinical Performance, Caitlin Knight. <laughs> to receive the Taylor Made Award, Freya Lane. To receive the Podiatry Staff Award, Chloe Martin. <laughs> Kirsty Padar. <laughs> Jade Louise Perry. Joanne Pinder. <laughs> Olivia Kate Tanner. <laughs> Rudian Thomas.
To receive a Master of Science in Advanced Practice Musculoskeletal Studies, Sazu Huta. Asparyana Ashok Gundy. I call upon Programme Director Val Scoli, who will announce the students who have been awarded Master of Science in Occupational Health, Safety and Wellbeing. J. William John Sampson. <laughs> Malcolm Bevan. <laughs> Kyle Richard David Black. <laughs> Christian Arnell Cruz. Reese Hutchins. <laughs> Abajulu Jane Okonkwo. I call upon Programme Director Amy Louise Pryor, who will announce the students who have been awarded Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Nasra Ahmed. <laughs> Anissa Atta. Georgia Allen. <laughs> Caitlin Ballinger. <laughs> Peyton Barrett. Charlotte Victoria Burlett. <laughs> Egan Cluett. <laughs> Olivia Joanne Kopner. Ebony Daly. <laughs> Hayley Jade Edwards. <laughs> Melissa Fitzmorris. Charlotte Nasreen Fowles. <laughs> Lucy Fromo. <laughs> Leonie Caroline Grenham. Cameron Pruway. <laughs> Billy King. <laughs> Eleanor Brooks. Lauren Sowerby. <laughs> Lauren Sowerby. 
Lewis Howell. <laughs> Rebecca Lidstone. <laughs> Clark Hitchcock. <laughs> Holly Victoria Grace Griffin. Emily Hurd. <laughs> Dana Laribe. <laughs> Megan Lewis. <laughs> Bethan Lindbourne. Olivia Meredith. <laughs> Bryony e. Morley. <laughs> Harris Roberts. The next students awarded the prize, uh, the British Psychological Society Branch Student Prize, Suzanne Peter. <laughs> Amy Powell. <laughs> Hannah Lee Price. Olivia Redler. <laughs> Caitlin Amy Roper. <laughs> Olivia Tierney. <laughs> Nathan Wilkinson. Finley Sketchley Mercer. <laughs> Sam Wilson. <laughs> Safa Zaman. I call upon Programme Director Karen DeClaire, who will announce the students who've been awarded a postgraduate diploma in Pract Practitioner Forensic Psychology. Charlotte Louise Benjamin Warner. Heidi Marie. <laughs> Olivia McGregor. <laughs> Jade Terry. I call upon Programme Director Leanne Watson, who will award, announce the students who've been awarded Master of Science in Forensic Psychology. Ashley Marie Bird. <laughs> Brian.
Bryony Clark. Shannon Clements. Shoa Fal Falcon, Sorcha Falcon. <laughs> Alexandra Fuggle. Bright Brona Heppel. Chloe Margaret Hughes. <laughs> Louisa Jones. <laughs> Madeline Leverage. Chelsea Rianne Maguire. Holly Elizabeth Page. Sid Power Denton. Tony Ralph. Ethan Robinson. <laughs> Marie Smothers. <laughs> Megan Williams. <laughs> Ella Williams Davis. Dr. Karen DeClaire will announce a student being awarded a doctorate in forensic psychology. Speaking to the mic. <laughs> We're awarding this doctorate in forensic psychology to a forensic psychologist with a great deal of experience in the management of hostage taking incidents within prisons, and Carol took that experience and decided to explore for the benefit of her colleagues some of the issues around hostage taking incidents. So she used prison service data and identified parallels between community hostage taking incidents and prison hostage taking incidents. She recognized the clear differences from that data between hostage takers they're actual hostages, but also individuals that collude in hostage-taking incidents. So that is, they appear as if they are hostages, but they're actually colluding with the hostage-taker. Her findings provide insight that is going to help those managing inc incidents to resolve them more effectively by being able to identify who might actually be the perpetrator in an incident. Carol's work also looks at some of the theories around prison hostage taking and has recognized that uh, prison strain actually has a big impact on that. So for her thesis, situation and participation characteristics, prison strain and collusion in prison hostage taking, Dr. Carol Bond is awarded the doctorate in forensic psychology.
I call upon Programme Director Heidi Siegel, who will announce the students who have been awarded Master of Science in Health Psychology. Rebecca Evans. <laughs> Lois Havard. <laughs> Lucy O'Leary. Megan Spackman. <laughs> Nadine Williams. I call upon programme team member Dan Heggs, who will announce the students being awarded Master of Research Psychology. Samuel Gould. <laughs> Thomas Williams. I call upon Programme Director Hannah Amos, who will announce the students who have been awarded a Bachelor of Science in Speech and Language Therapy. Kimberly Badham. <laughs> Naomi Maria Johnston Bevan. Madeline Jane Bishop. <laughs> Eleanor Louise Burris. <laughs> and winning the prize of the Natalie Webb Clinical Prize for Outstanding Clinical Practice Amelia Page Cobner. Charlotte Louise Davis. Ellie Rose Farrer. Ashley Fitzgibbon. <laughs> Alice Flanagan. <laughs> Natalie Harris. <laughs> Nicola Gad. And the winner of the Tavistock Award for Aphasia is Keris James. <laughs> Aline Meyer Jones. Winning the award for the academic prize is Kimberly Caroline Jones. <laughs> Lucy Joseph. <laughs> Amy Louise. 
Louise King. Rebecca Jane Curtin. Geraldine Kostreva. William Mardell. Sarah McGrath. Eru McQuaid. Lucy Mellon. Catherine Ellen Poole. <laughs> Megan Pothelswaite. <laughs> and winning the Speech and Language Therapy Project Prize, Amy Reid. Jessica Olivia Richards. <laughs> Catherine Salter. <laughs> Kate Alice Sullivan. <laughs> Jessica Vickery. Katie White. Kate Wilkinson. Would all the students from Cardiff School of Sport and Health Sciences please stand? President and Vice-Chancellor, I call upon you to admit these graduands. By the authority vested in me by Cardiff Metropolitan University, I admit you to your various awards as indicated in the programme and to all the privileges of those awards. Congratulations, the outstanding class of 2021. Many congratulations to you all. Graduates, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, you, the class of 2021 graduates, we hope that this day was worth waiting for and that you have enjoyed this graduation ceremony. Do continue to celebrate throughout the day and have a safe journey home. Please, can you all stand and remain standing until the platform party has left the auditorium. I call upon the Lord Mayor to formally close this ceremony.
Ladies and gentlemen, I declare this congregation closed. Congratulations to all graduates. Thank you.